This is Mikey D with the WYZ Breaking News Update. Yesterday we learned that the Noam House was sighted on the Azalea Sea and that search parties were being sent out at dawn. Our reporter Mikey D was with one of those searchers. Here is his report. After hours of searching the Azalea Sea with Herclanome, we heard... The little voice was right. It was indeed the gnome house. Without knowing the fate of the gnomes inside, we found a place to bring the house ashore. We scoured the shores, and after a while we found one sandy location that would be ideal for landing the house. As our boat reached shore, Herclanome grabbed his supplies and leaped from the boat and ran to the location on the beach. Hercula Gnome set up for the rescue with his rope, which he would use to lasso the house and bring it to shore. Hercula Gnome would have to have perfect aim and a good arm to reach the house that far from shore. Hercula Gnome gathered his rope and began to swing his loop. With a single throw, the rope reached the house. When the rope hit the house, the door flew open and gnomes appeared. Yes! They were alive! He pulled the house to shore and one by one the gnomes began to come out. As Hercule Gnome held the house close to shore, the first to appear was the legendary Gnomulus Caesar. Awakened by the other gnomes, only a few months before the Great Flood. The next to appear were the healing gnomes, the very ones that healed the Arctic Gnome King when him and his followers were injured in the collapse of Castle Royalston. After the healers came the loyal subjects of the Arctic Gnome King, each and every one of them. And then the house was empty. No one left. Where was the Arctic Gnome King? Could it be? Did he survive? After listening to the gnomes' harrowing tales of the last several weeks, we learned the fate of the Arctic Gnome King. During a terrible storm two weeks ago, the Arctic King fell from the house and was lost at sea. This is your reporter, Mikey D with WYZ News, with a nearly happy ending to a breaking news story.